Well, it's maybe unless we can do something tonight. Otherwise, it's the best. It's Saturday, the yes, because Saturday. Saturday morning. morning. Is the morning breakfast. Yeah, yeah that would work. Yeah. Okay, let's. Yes. Okay. So, Kumi, you're very strong there against the fossil fuel. You, it's, you're getting quite angry about it now, aren't you? Well, the reality is that the fossil fuel industry has not only engaged in a business activity that has brought us to the point where we are losing thousands and thousands of lives every year now we're losing livelihoods and so on they have known that their activity contributes to carbon pollution and constitutes gen uh, danger ever since the 1960s they continue to pollute they, they continue to pollute uh, um, the public debates just one second So, uh, you know... If you don't mind going this way, I'll get my yeah. bag as well. Yeah, yeah. So, so for, for example, uh, they have, we've just, Greenpeace UK has just released a report which shows how the fossil fuel industry has been buying off academics uh, to give false assessments about uh, uh, about uh, the danger of uh, carbon pollution. So, right. you know, not only have they bought off many of our governments, not only have they, uh, I mean, you know, today the United States can be described as the best democracy money can buy. And if you unpack which money buys that influence, it's disproportionately oil, coal, gas, nuclear, military, and other polluting industries. So what's Greenpeace going to so, do about it? So we will do what we've always been doing, which is we're going to intensify our resistance. We're going to continue to look for new ways of bringing pressure, such as exploring, uh, you know, litigation, uh, as we are supporting the efforts in the Philippines now, where today uh, investigation has started against the 50 top carbon polluters. Uh, historically speaking, for the horrific uh, loss of life we're seeing in the Philippines from extreme weather events, we're going to be following the money more and more. Uh, as we are already doing, uh, because it's not just the fossil fuel companies that must be held accountable here, but the investors and the banks and the other lending institutions that enable them to do their activity. So we need a much broader strategy and increasingly we are working uh, closer and closer with other parts of civil society and I'm very happy to see the strong growing relationship between uh, the labor movement uh, led by ITUC and Sharon Burroughs where they say they have to be part of the struggle for the just transition to a clean economy uh, because as they put it there are no jobs on a dead planet. Is the, is the outcome of COP relevant at all? It is uh, relevant, of course. Uh, the better and more ambitious a deal we get here means that the struggles that we need to engage in <coughs> will be that much more easier. Uh, if we don't get the ambitious uh, deal that is needed, it means that the struggles will be more difficult. But, you know, even if we got everything that we're asking for, yeah, it'll be words on a piece of paper. The hard work starts uh, after this COP is over. Thank you very much, Kumi D. Outside. Hi. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sorry, thank you. I don't want to be your.